Hey, this is Hobie from Majesty Crush. I have a request from Henry Boyer, our number one fan. Check out his YouTube channel. He's also the guy behind the Instagram account, Majesty Crush Fan. It's all things Majesty Crush, everything live we've ever done, all these interviews. He even made a great documentary on us. He's requested a bass tutorial for our song, Sunny Pie. Sunny Pie was the first single we ever put out in 1991. It was one of the first songs we ever wrote where a six string guitar was used up till then. Our guitar player Michael Siegel was using a three string guitar and it's one of the first things we ever recorded with Mike E. Clark and we recorded it at the side room of the Temper Mill Studio in Ferndale, Michigan. We'd wind up doing a lot of Love 15 there a couple years later. The significance of this is that I learned this trying to play along to the recording that's on all the streaming sites and on the record right now. It appears the tape was actually sped up when it was pressed because I've tuned this thing three or four times and it seems like it sounds better when it's a fret up. So I know we wrote it and recorded it largely in the, in the I think it's the key of A. It's got a lot of A in it, kind of drones A. And as you'll see, there's a little break part in it. But when you try to play along to the record, if you move it up a fret, it actually sounds more in tune. So this is something it took me 30 something years to figure out. But what I'm gonna do right now is play the bass line the way I wrote it and the way I recorded it because it's kind of more my style and you'll hear how it kind of creates what we used to call circles, these little kind of shapes that had a lot of noise. I recorded it with a chorus pedal, a boss chorus pedal the whole time. So the whole thing has that kind of spongy Peter Hook style kind of chorus pedal sounding. So the way the song starts, Michael begins his little riff, chun, 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 it's a little Chinese thing. I come in with a couple of drop downs on the A string just to kind of warm up to the line. <laughs> Sorry. And I just let the A ring. And then when Odell starts playing, I kick into right along with Odell's beat. You worked at an X-rated bookstore, so I'm kind of following Dave's vocal line, Dave's following my line. And it's pretty much just those two things for the whole cho whole chorus, or the, I'm sorry, the whole verse. Then when it goes into, it starts to go into this break, it's actually, which is E, D. Now I'm playing it high up because Dave's singing it high up. And then it goes down for the, for the actually this break. And Michael is playing much lower. He's playing in the, um, his guitar playing chords, but it goes E, G, 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 D, 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 E. And of course I'm gonna play that. And then, That's pretty much it. Now what changes is at the very end, and here's where Michael came up with a stroke of genius, it went a little heavier. We were listening to groups like Loop and even like Monster Magnet. And so instead of that last chorus, so it kind of goes verse chorus and the chorus is Remember after the verse, it'll go for so long. Da -da. Then it drops down a, an octave to. And then at the very, very end, this is where Michael throws in this really cool riff. It goes.
which is way too Ted Nugent for anything we've ever done. But again, that was the kind of way Michael could add just something really perfect and a slight variation, but it gives it kind of a deeper, darker ending. So I know this is super long at five and a half minutes, but again, the three things I wanted to iterate, one, we recorded it in a certain thing, but it probably sounds different if you try to play along to it. You're welcome to try to move everything up, play it in A sharp, play that break in F. It'll probably sound better if you're trying to play along to the record, but that's the way the song was written and that's the way it's played. So I hope this helps. You know, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. I'm always available. And thanks for asking, Henry.